Assalamu alaikum guys. Okay, so we are back in this lecture. We are going to do MCQ number 26 to 30 for October, November 2009, paper 1, variant 1. Okay, and in the previous lecture, we covered from 20 to 20, 21 to 25. Okay, and so now the link to the, those lectures have been given in the description. So now let's get started. Which equation represents a valid propagation step in the free radicals reaction between ethane and chlorine? Okay. Ethane and chlorine, this reaction occurs in presence of UV light, uh, which is called free radical substitution. Okay, in propagation step, the characteristic property of a propagation step is that a free radical is regenerated. Free radical, as you guys already know, is a species with an unpaired electron. Okay, so free radical is regenerated. Okay, so if we look at each species, okay, first of all, guys, hydrogen radicals are never used in these reactions. They are never generated. This reaction is not possible. So A and C cannot be the correct answers. Now what about B and D? Okay, in B and D, if we look at the products, we have a radical in B, but we don't have a radical in D. So D cannot be correct, correct uh, option either. So B is the correct option. Right, now let's move on to the next MCQ, 27. The naturally occurring molecule civetone is found in the gland of African civet cat and has been used in perfumery. Okay, so this is the uh, structure of that molecule which is given. With which reagent will it not react? Okay, with which reagent will it not react? So let's uh, start out from 2,4-DNPH. 2,4-DNPH reacts with carbonyl compounds. As we know that there is a ketone group in here, so they, it will react with uh, the first molecule. The first answer option cannot be the correct answer. Then what about the second one? Phalanx reagent. Phalanx reagent react only with aldehydes. Aldehyde groups contain a C double bond O with a hydrogen atom connected to a chain. If we look in here, we don't find any aldehyde group at all. We find only one ketone. So B is the correct option because Felling's reagent will not react in there. So B should be the correct answer. Now moving on to 28, it says that, okay, this is an interesting question. Cyanohydrins can be made from carbonyl compounds by generating cyanide ions from HCN in presence of weak bases. Okay, in a similar reaction, this is the ions which are generated. Uh, from this molecule by strong bases. Okay, this is actually an ester molecule which forms a nucleophile and then which compound can be made from an aldehyde and this compound in presence of a strong base. Okay, now let's check out, uh, check them out. Answer option number A. Okay, if I draw A, a out, it uh, looks something like this. Okay, in here, if we uh, separate out this molecule over here, this should be the initiating electrophile if we were to react it with an aldehyde group. Okay, aldehyde, this is how an aldehyde looks like, right? Uh, C double bond O and a hydrogen atom over here. So if an aldehyde, this is carbon and this is double bonded hydrogen and the uh, hydrogen in up here in our, in our group. Okay, so if this molecule comes and attacks the aldehyde from in here, this would mean that it will get uh, these two, three, three carbon atoms over here, not two carbon atoms on this side, okay? So, and this oxygen will convert into an OH group. This hydrogen will stay as it is and the R group will stay as it is. So actually answer option A cannot be possible because we need three carbon atoms over here, not two. Okay, what about option B and what about option C and what about option D? Okay, option D, if we look at option D again, there uh, the same issue goes with it as well because if we open the structure up, we'll have an OH group and two CH3 groups. Uh, two CH3 groups would actually mean that this was an initiating ketone rather than an aldehyde. Okay, this was a ketone. This was not an aldehyde. So therefore, D cannot be the answer option. Okay, if you are confused that how it's a ketone, so try drawing out its uh, full structure. And in full structure, you'll observe that it's uh, it has a configuration like this. Okay, like this structure. And if you trace this one back, it will form a ketone actually, not an aldehyde. Okay, so D cannot be the correct answer option. Now, what about which one of these two is correct, B or C? Now, if we look at B, the problem with B is that it's, uh, it's not the same mo molecule. It's not the same electrophile. It's actually a different nucleo. sorry, not the same nucleophile. It's a different nucleophile. They've actually used a nucleophile that appears something like this, COCH2 negative and guys remember one thing whenever you have an ester linkage in here so changing the sign changing the negative sign actually changes the molecule because ester linkage can only be made in this way right so if you change the negative sign and in the answer in the question it says that the negative sign is right with the carbon atom that is bonded to an oxygen 
basically the car this carbon atom which is bonded to the carbonyl group has the negative sign so in answer option b it's the other carbon that has the negative sign not the a carbon which with which is with the carbonyl group so b cannot be the answer option as well so c is the correct answer as this was a very important mcq now moving on to the next one 29th okay in 29th it says that the characteristic order of rum is attributed by to this compound 233 methyl butanoic acid 2 ethyl 3 methyl butanoic acid okay which compound will produce 2 ethyl 3 methyl butanoic acid by re heating under reflux with alcoholic sodium cyanide and subsequent acid hydrolysis of the reaction product okay basically in this reaction what we need to do is we can uh, we can check out each of them uh, each of these uh, answer options by these subsequent uh, molecules or what we could do is we could just trace this molecule back into its original molecule okay how to trace that okay you guys know from theory that carboxylic acid is formed by hydrolysis of cyanide groups okay so if we go back to hydrolysis before hydrolysis this carboxylic acid group was actually a cyanide group a nitrile atom was present over here okay this was a nitrile uh, molecule now even before hydrolysis what happened this cn group over here was actually replaced this cn group came by replacing a different nucleophile right a nucleophilic substitution reaction must have occurred forming a cn over here so now there must be a group, an answer option that contains some nucleophile instead of CN, and this is its structure. So if we look at answer option A and B, so I think it should be clear from in here. Okay, if we look at A, it this carbon is CH3. Okay, this carbon is CH3, CH3 and hydrogen. Okay, this is cool. Now go go on forward. So now the next carbon atom over here, this is bonded to a CH, Br, and then CH3. Whereas in here, this carbon atom is directly bonded to a this should have been bonded to a nucleophile. So answer option A cannot be possible. What about answer option B? Okay, CH3, CH3, CH, these are correct. Okay, this carbon atom is bonded to a nucleophile. And what about the group, which is the fourth group, which is present in here? It's actually an ethyl group that is attached. And yes, an ethyl group is in here. So answer option B is correct. Because we have an ethyl group. We have a hydrogen atom in here, Yera. And we also have a bromine atom. A bromine atom. A bromine atom is the nucleophile which was replaced by the CN to form the nitrile. So B is the correct option. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. Answer option, okay, MCQ number 30. This is a pretty simple, straightforward MCQ. I'm just reading off from here. What are the products of its hydrolysis? This is the product that has given, this is the reactant that has given, and they are just asking us the product of acidic hydrolysis. So acidic hydrolysis, what it does is that it actually breaks the ester bond. And as the ester bond breaks, this carbonyl group, it gets the OH group, okay, and it forms the acid, whereas the rest of the molecule forms the alcohol. And the answer option D is the one which resembles these products. Okay, so thank you so much. This was MCV number 26 to 30. Now the next five will be done in the next lecture. Uh, link is given in the description. Thank you so much.